How's it going guys? This is Galen at ECU Master USA and today we're going to go over a case study in how to control an auxiliary output and set it up after you're using it to control the relay. So first we're going to go over how to configure that in our software and we'll pick two things that would be most popular to set up. So probably the coolant fan and the fuel pump. So we have our EMU Black client software open. Uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, auxiliary outputs and show you guys a good case use for configuring an auxiliary output after you've wired it to control your, your relay. Let's start with the coolant fan setup. So here we're showing our temperature in Fahrenheit. If you wanna cycle between Imperial and metric, you click this icon and go to units. You can cycle between the two. Uh, we'll put it back into Fahrenheit for this demonstration. Imperial. So we have our fan set up to come on at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. And the hysteresis is the amount that you define the parameter to shut off in this case. So once the temperature falls, coolant temperature falls under nine degrees from this, this target, the fan circuit will shut off. You can find more information on that here in the help icon outline some of the parameters that you see in this table and also gives a diagram in the auxiliary output configuration. So this would be triggering the ground side of the relay uh, to activate the circuit. You can go and assign here an unused auxiliary output uh, for something that you're not using. Um, for this example, we'll just select aux5. This is a blank template, so it doesn't really matter but I wanna show you guys that after you assign this, you can check your assigned outputs here. And now it's green for the coolant fan, coolant circuit output. And if you already have a base map or a tune that's you know, loaded up onto your EMU black and you're adding stuff, this table is how you find what assignments are open and what aren't. This would be for our auxiliary outputs, obviously. So next we're gonna go over to fuel pump. Same thing, pick an unused auxiliary output, assign it, double check that it's assigned. And if you wanna test this output, you can go right back to your fuel pump screen and activating this would trigger that circuit on or off. And for quick reference, you can go here in this top bar. These are all of the tables that are set up for quick access to a bunch of these that's uh, basically what's here on the left side. So if you wanted just to pull the outputs, you could click this table and see the most commonly used uh, cases for the auxiliary outputs here. Now that you know how to set it up on the software, let's take a look in how it functions live. So we have here in our product display, uh, we have our ADU that shows all the data that the EMU Black is seeing. Now this is simulating a live engine. So as I move the throttle body and actuate that, you'll see RPM increase. That's why it thinks the fuel pump uh, is already active because it's already demanding fuel and the fuel pump circuit be on. Uh, if you look at the screen here, we have our water temp showing 70 degrees Celsius. And as the engine warms up, you'll see this increase. And eventually it'll hit the point where the fan parameters will come active. So it's set to 85 degrees Celsius, like our default in the software for the purpose of this demonstration. And you can see there's a light on the display uh, that is active right now. And typically what'll happen is the fan will come on, you'll have the engine come up in temp a little bit, um, and then your coolant temps will start to come back down. And that's the point of hysteresis in that when you hit a certain threshold, it'll turn the fan off. So it'll come up the temp, go past that parameter for on, and then come back down and actually turn the fan circuit off once you hit what you command for the hysteresis, which we have set, set to five degrees Celsius. Um, you want to make sure that when you're setting this up that you don't set the fan to come on as soon as the thermostat opens or the thermostat temp. You want it to be well past that so that your engine is at actual operating temperature 
and with a properly designed cooling system, you have a pretty good window of operating range. So you'll typically come up, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 degrees, whatever that you need that to be for operating temp, and then the fan will cool the motor down until you hit your deactivation point in your hysteresis margin. And the reason why you have the hysteresis option in the software is so that your coolant temp won't come out of operating range in that it won't, the engine won't cool down too far. And then the fan activation will help catch the motor and keep it from overheating and coming past your operating range, you know, overheating, whatever that might be. Uh, you want to make sure your engine is at temp, everything, oil, all of that before you go beat on it. And having a good fan control strategy is really critical to all of that. To test your outputs, you can go in here and invert the output and that will activate it. And if we look over at the display, you see it coming on and off as I actuate the invert output function. You probably notice in the software, there's a couple advanced strategies for the cooling system that we're not gonna to touch on today. Uh, but if you need help or you need you have any questions on that, you can certainly shoot us an email to support at ecumasterusa.com. Thanks for watching and have fun with your cars.